everyone, I am here to give you an all-inclusive guide to live showing. I have had an enormous response on Instagram, Facebook, um, in person, you name it, about what are the things that you need to know if you are a newbie and you are starting off live showing. Now while this video is mostly geared towards beginners, uh, any veteran showers, you might find a couple of tips and tricks in this video that might help you as well. Alright, let's start from the very beginning. So, you're getting into showing and you have no idea where to even start. The first place that you want to start is by typing into Google, Model Horse Shows Near Me. Generally, whenever this is typed in, you have multiple pages that have all of the same listings for model horse shows throughout the United States. Shows are divided amongst regions, and you'll be able to see what states are included underneath each region. So for example, Region 6 includes South Carolina, North Carolina, Virginia, West Virginia I believe as well, all the way down to Florida through Alabama. So you will quickly be able to recognize, okay, these states are within my region, which are fairly close to you. Once you're able to recognize what region you are a part of, the next thing to see is what shows are listed underneath those regions. It is from here that you can make your selection based off of how far away they are. So let's say that you find a show that's close to you and you'll be able to make it. So then what? To register for a show, generally you have to send in an entry form with your payment. An entry form generally includes your name, web address, any contact information, as well as three initials that you want to use for your name. And sometimes if you're going to buy a table, bring a table, or only need half of a table, it just kind of depends on how many horses you're planning on taking. For beginners, I suggest that you bring roughly around 15 to 25 horses for your first show. That way it gives you plenty of time for leisure to ask questions, see how things work, and so that way you don't feel so overwhelmed. If you have any questions about the entry form or about table assignments, always reach out to your show host or hostess and they'll be more than happy to give you the information that you need. Some shows are specialty shows, which mean that they only focus on one specific type or model, um, such as they focus only on custom, resin, maybe it's an all China show or an all mini show. You always want to carefully check and plan because if you only have traditionals and you sign up for a mini show, you're not going to be able to show those traditionals because they are too big big. So always look and read carefully on the website. If everything checks out and you are good to go, we want to move on to how to work with a class list. Each class list is different and varies from show to show and region to region, so you always want to read through it carefully. Shows are divided by divisions, sectionals, and sometimes shows provide overalls. Some of the divisions that are available are Custom, Artist Resin, OF or Original Finish, Mini, Foles, and Decorator Fantasy. There are so many divisions out there. Be sure to do your research and put your horses underneath the correct class. So if there's an Arabian class, you want to put your Arabian in that class instead of putting it in other light. Extra research may ensue if you have confusing draft breeds or even other carriage breeds that might not be well known. If there is ever any question as to where a breed might go in the class list, reach out to your show host or hostess. Alright, so we have all the horses that we are planning on taking, they're written down on our class list, we got everything organized and ready to go. So what's the next step? The next step is finding out what kind of tagging system your region uses. There are different systems all throughout the different regions, some of which include the card systems, the code systems, the number system, and the tag system. For region 6, we use the tag system. So to show you how the tag system works, I have my horse here, Annalise. On the front side, I have her breed as well as her gender. On the back side, I have her name and my initials that I used on my entry form. And I want to make sure that whenever I put my horse up on a table to show, that I have the breed as well as the gender facing upwards and the side with the horse's name and initials facing downwards. 
You can get these exact tags that I use by just going to your local Walmart. I recommend going to Walmart versus going to Staples or Office Depot because those places are going to overcharge for tags and it'll end up being quite expensive. So now our horses are pretty much ready for the show. So next step, packing the horses to go to the show. I recommend that you wrap each model individually using a soft blanket, towel, or even bubble wrap. But another great alternative is pony pouches. Here I have a couple of different brands and sizes of pony pouch, but they all work the same. They are very soft and plush and keep your models from getting rubs or breaking whenever you take them to shows. A couple of different brands that I recommend are the Pampered Pony, which have these cool little plastic fronts where you can write your horse's name, Snuggy Sacks by Megan Coat, and then Pony Pouches by Lori. And she actually has her website sewn into her Snuggy Sacks, so I figured I would go ahead and show you guys in case you wanted to order some for your first show. Buying these can be expensive, and if you have a friend or family member who knows how to sew, get them involved with making these and being a part of the hobby. We also want to think ahead about how we are going to display our models once we get to the show. A lot of people use blankets over their tables to give their table a pop of color, and a lot of people bring model horse stands. Now here is a Model Horse Rack brand Model Horse Stand, and these are collapsible. So I can just pull them apart like this, and I can set my models down in between them. So that way if you have a tippy model, you won't have a domino effect. It'll keep all your horses standing straight up. Now if you are showing minis at your first show, or not even your first show, just a recommendation, I highly recommend acrylic stands. Here I have my Lola Resin modeling one of the acrylic stands. These stands are great because they pick up small horses off the table so a judge can see them a lot better. I ordered my stands off of Amazon and they came in a set of six and I think that they were only like $12 or $14 somewhere in that price range so they're not too awfully expensive and they do add that extra element. So with all of these great suggestions for how to prepare for a show, what do you actually do the day of the show? Whenever the show hall opens, it generally opens about an hour before the show actually starts. So if the show starts at 9 o'clock, the show hostess will generally open the hall at about 8. It is during this hour that you can get your horses ready, your table all set up, and get yourself organized for the day. Once the show start time comes around, the hostess will generally announce where each ring will be. So that way you are able to see which table that your OF briars go on to, which table your customs go on to, resins, chinas, so on and so forth. Classes will be called in the order that is on the list, so always make sure that you are following along on your class list that you printed out as the day goes on. I highly recommend marking off any classes that were already called so that way you're easily able to see where you are throughout the day. And remember, if you are ever unsure about about anything at all, ask questions. Ask your show hostess, ask the people around you. They'll be more than happy to help you out. Please don't ever feel like you're bothering somebody because that is never the case. We want to be able to share this hobby with new people, so ask those questions. I promise you are not bothering us at all. We want to have you there. All right, that's all I have for you guys. Please be sure to like this video, subscribe, and leave a comment. Was this helpful? If you're a show veteran, what do you do to get ready for shows? Leave it in the comments below for anybody who's new to have as reference, and I'll see you guys later.